Hey everybody, Sean Tierney here with the Automation Minute. And in this episode, we're going to talk about the L55 Control Logics processor. And uh, we'll take a look at it here. And you can see the first thing we'll notice at the very top, we'll see it says Logix 5555. And that's another name for it. We call it the L55 or the 5555. And we can see the run, IO, RS-232 activity, OK, and BAT indicators, as well as a force indicator, which we did not have on the L1. Um, we have the same run remote program key, which is the same key as the uh, Slick 500 family. And then under this door, we have a place for a battery as well as a serial port. Let's go ahead and turn the unit on its side. And here you can see our part number, 1756L55, but we also see another part number, 1756M24. Now, unlike the L1, which came with a base of 160K, the L55 comes with no memory. So when you order it, you always want to order like an L, a 1756L55, M24, or M14, or you want to order it with memory, Otherwise, if all you have is a 1756L55 with nothing else, it won't work. It needs some memory. Now, the good news is with the L55, you can either buy all completely volatile memory, or you can actually buy uh, some memory that has both volatile and non-volatile. So it's like having a double EEPROM built onto the board. Let me show you where that, uh, that memory board goes here. You can see if we look inside, you can see now we have two boards. Unlike the uh, L1 that I showed you, only had one board, this already has a memory board installed, and so you can see it inside there. So that's cool. And um, really, that's it for the L55, except to say that uh, this particular line could go all the way up to version 16 of our Logix 5000, and it was also the first processor that supported redundancy. So that's a really big, uh, uh, a big deal because... Uh, Unlike the PLC5 redundancy, the Control Logix redundancy is very cool and very uh, easy to use. And uh, a lot of people like this processor just for those redundant applications. Um, the one thing, other thing I want to mention is you do not see any removable non-volatile. So even though I have an M24 with non-volatile memory, there's no easy way to remove it and send it to somebody in the field. So that's another big point uh, to keep in mind about the L55.